right higher so we're on lifts now so it says a person of mass 72 kilos stands in a lift of mass 540 the lift is supported by a cable that is modeled as light and inextensible so it's draw three diagrams so let's think about the person so the person is stood on the floor of the lift just stood there so they are like the 72g 72 kilos acting downwards and the the lift floor is pushing back so you've not kind of like fallen through the floor so the lift is floor is, is pushing back um, so that's one diagram so that's the person now i'm going to leave a gap because there's a second diagram which really annoys me <laughs> and the third diagram is is the whole person the whole system so that's like the lift and the person together you might want to use this to find the tension in the wire or the acceleration or something like that so that would be the the whole thing so it'd be the 540 plus 72 lots of g and then you got tension so that's the whole system right then ah, the one i don't like is the one where it's about what's happening to the poor lift because the lift is kind of fighting back but it's what's happening within the lift as the lift moves and this has never come up on a paper so it really really annoys me having to do it so i've got my 540g for the lift now the thing is the person inside the lift is pressing down so the person there studying it is pressing down on the lift and that's like a 72g pressing down on the lift and i just don't like it i've never seen one like it i'm not entirely certain why it's in i want to cross it out well you shouldn't cross it out just in case but it's just a weird perspective like the first one is oh and the person stood on the floor like just stood there and it's the lift floor pushing back the third one is everything as a whole let's find the tension and the acceleration but the second one is like what's happening to that poor lift the lift floor so sorry about that right so for the tension in the cable we want the whole system so it's the third one now it's decelerated so it's moving downwards and decelerating so i've got my combined mass of 612 i've got tension it's traveling downwards but it's decelerating so if i do f equals ma the force in the direction of travel is a 612g, the force opposing it is t, and then it's a mass of 612 times by minus 2.1. So if I do a bit of rearranging, I've got 612g plus 612 times by 2.1, because the minus changes into a plus as you go over. That gives me a tension of roughly 7,000 newtons to one sig fig for my tension because it says take g to the 10 so then it says the magnitude of the normal reaction force exerted by the person so this is our person this is my that one so this is my person in the lift oh hang on on the hang on i've drawn that wrong this is my person so i've got the 72g i've got r and I'm assuming that that's still going down with a minus 2.1. I'm just going to set it up because I'm running out of time. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Right, so I just did the F equals MA for it, for that specific one. And it gives me an R value of roughly 900 newtons to one sig fig there. So that the, the person is exerting 900 newtons on the lift floor. So it's kind of going down, isn't it? So that's what it's asking about the magnitude. So magnitude is 900 newtons. And the direction is going down. And that's what they exert. Because you imagine the lift, the lift is slowing down, but it's still pushing down. Right, I think that's done. I'll see you later.